In this tutorial, I will show how to do some solar radiation on the existing context. And why I'm doing that, that is because when you build in a dense area like this, then it will definitely have an effect on the existing building and the energy needs when you put in a, a new building. Because the new building will create shadows on the existing facades. Especially with old buildings, the buildings take more advantage of the passive solar gains. So first of all, I want to select those faces I want to pick. I already chosen some faces here. Go on and pick the rest of the faces I want to include in this calculation. I have chosen the facades, I think that they will have an effect on the result. When I go into the design phase of creating form concepts for this specific place. Then I just finish the selection mass phases and it will run the analysis. And now you have the opportunity to export these results. Why I recommend to do this? Because in the site it is not possible to control the minimum and maximum values in the color scale. Here we have the insulation values. We have some information about the, the coordinates. We don't need those. We actually only need these values up here. I will make a sum. Go back to the home tab and picking out to sum selecting all the, the numbers. I also need to remember how many points there is. This sum I need to divide by 978. Type in here. And I do this to get the average value. Press enter. Now I have the average value up here. And this was the existing conditions. So when I go to next phase and create form concepts, then I can compare the differences between before and after and use this as a parameter as well. The next step is creating form concepts, testing them and see how that will affect the existing solar radiation gains. I have made three different form concepts. I want to simulate the solar radiation on the existing buildings to compare the condition before and after with this new building using the solar radiation. When you're creating a new object, it doesn't take that into account. Then you need to deselect something, run the analysis and do the process again to have it activated. Now I have run the solar radiation with this form concept and I want to export it as an CSV file a file format that can be open in Excel and then you save the file in some kind of logical names and put it into the comparing sheet. Now I want to do the same with the two other concepts I have made for this project. Do the same process, picking one phase, do the analysis, picking it again so it, so it can registrate the new conditions, analyze, export, concept 2, save, go to Excel, import again the concept 2, use and finally result of the three form concepts in a simple way comparing these numbers to quantify the, the difference and not just in the color and not just as a visual comparing. I will show how to investigate solar radiation on external surfaces on different form concepts and compare the result. This is interesting to do to determine different potentials. For this you can use the size solar radiation tool. I recommend to look at two kind of surfaces, facades and the roofs. The facades potential is looking at solar heat either for the passive strategies or to block solar heating penetrating the facade or the roof for PV potentials 
And here I have the summary where I have structured in different seasons, for say summer, winter, spring. And for this I have chosen the square meter method. And for the roof I have been looking at the total amount of watt hours per square meters. And as you can see the form concept 3 have most solar radiation on its facades in all three seasons. As well as solar radiation on the roofs. If I should compare the size, solar radiation, functionality with the Ecotect, then I definitely want to do it in Versailles because it is much faster. This would have taken hours to have done the same. The only thing that is, if you want to work more with the result, then you have to put it into Excel like what I have done to have the opportunity to actually compare it better. Because as I also said, the color scale is the minimum and maximum in this simulation. So when I build up an, another model, it will have another effect, then it will fit between the minimum and maximum. So it is not possible to compare them visual. That is very important to know.